there is a very easy way for you to create flux videos so based on flux schnell this is one of the best models in text to image that you have got right now with open weights commercially available so you can use a flux schnell which is an image generation model but using a concept called clip directions you can make this model give you a video that is coherent that is quite steered between two concepts so the way you do it is you describe what you want for example in this case i've said i want a movie poster of a family that shows the text flux and as you can see here i've got a movie poster of a family that shows the text flux what is interesting is that i'm going to ask ai to generate this movie poster between two opposite combinations so one from a concept called happy i'm asking it to go to a concept called zombie so as you can see here uh, i can steer it here so i've got this this is the happy so a movie poster of a happy family that shows the text flux and as you can see here it slowly changes from a happy family a slightly a serious family and then finally it becomes a zombie family and all of this come together and give us a very beautiful video that you can use for UGC user generated content and a lot of other things if you are happy you can share it on Instagram social media i mean you can do this for a lot of different things i'm not telling you what you should do with this but i'm just saying that you can use this for excellent amount of things now again the concept is very simple let's go slightly one level deeper into the technical aspect before we see another demo this particular piece the one that we are currently seeing is a hugging face spaces it's called latent navigation and uh, it has been shared by linoy sibban who works for hugging face so latent navigation is a very fancy name to say that see all these pictures that you generate are uh, through kind of like denoising or uh, let's say in a latent space there is a concept there is nothing first of all there is completely black noise and you are going to use that black noise and denoise it and then create something that you would like to see that's how typically stable diffusion or any diffusion based algorithm works so what this person is trying to do here is this person is trying to see okay can i uh, traverse through this latent space from one concept to another concept and then pick what is there and then create a series of pictures in such a way that it is going to be coherent that is exactly linoy is talking about so you have got navigating flux a uh, latent space so the comeback of clip pool embedding serve a role after all so what does a rose look like when you slowly push the pool embeddings uh, from happy to sad so you can see from happy to sad how the picture changes you're not going to make any change just that pool embedding change and how is it happening so this is i'm just like reading the verbatim i found the average difference between the pooled clip embeddings of happy and sad much like in ethan smith's 20th original clip directions we'll see that later added this average into different average difference into scale to the pooled embeddings of a rose so there is a rose just simply that is like let's say your prompt in this particular case this is what we give here this is the equivalent of a rose this is the general text and uh, to that she is adding the average difference into scale to the pooled embedding of a rose and voila we have the t5 which is uh, the model the language model and the clip in this particular case uh, that is used to map the text with uh, images used identical prompts t5 embeddings untouched and you can see that this is changing the most interesting to see between using an average representation of t5 embedding versus pooled clip was the ability to move between artistic style pop art to impressionism or abstract visual concept happy to sad with t5 embeddings it didn't really work at all either there were no significant visual change slash moderate change unrelated to concepts so pushing toward happy resulted in a happy person so demo is what we are currently seeing so this entire thing that linoy has mentioned here comes from a much older blog post uh, by ethan smith so if you go read ethan smith this blog post you can read a lot more details it basically tells you how this entire thing happens so traversing through clip space pca principle component analysis if you have been a data scientist let's say for more than 6 years before ai and ml peaked you would probably know about pca which is one of the most popular dim dimensionality reduction techniques and latent directions i would link these things in the youtube description for you to go read if you are interested in the technical concept 
But if you want like a very brief code overview, this is a repo that Linoi has shared semantic sliders, which also something that I link it in the YouTube description. So you can see that there are two words. One is the first direction. Second is the second one. So the target word is happy. The opposite word is sad. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to calculate the average difference. So this is the function that does this thing. So it takes two argument target word and opposite word. And as you can see here, it is calculating the positives and negatives and the calculate the difference. And from there it calculates the average. So this is what is happening basically behind the scene. And this average is what being given here. So as you can hear, see here, there is a scale scale second, the scale for the second dimension directions where average difference second is none. And this is what basically Linois spoke about. And um, yeah, so this is quite excellent. Uh, let's see a quick demo. This is something that I've already created. I link a lot more demo that people have used here, but I'm going to just go with an example that they've given here, a dog in the park from winter to summer. So I'm going to click generate directions. So this is your main prompt. It's like the rose. You're going to try to prompt from winter to summer. So as you can see here or summer to winter. So you have got the dog and you can see here. So winter to summer or summer to winter, like however you want to see, you can see this, this you have got the entire strip here. It starts with winter and it goes to summer, it starts with winter. It goes to summer. Now what you can do also is that you can probably try to change more things. Like right now people are experimenting with this. People have figured out it works well with artistic style. For example, one of the things that you can do is you can just say that um, this is um, minimalism, minimalism, and this is maybe, I don't know, like flat. <laughs> I don't know if that is a design. So you can change the artistic style from one style to another style. And also you can change the concept. You can change basically like summer to winter and those kind of things. So these are two things people have figured out, but you can do much more than that. You can experiment with uh, changing, try to change the characters in it. Maybe you try to take a dog and then try to see if you can make something else out of it. So for example, one of the example prompt that gives here is that you take a tomatoes and you take a rotten tomato and make it like a super fresh tomato. And this is a dog. Let's see minimalism to flat. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make a lot of difference. I guess I'm not sure if it does anything at all. But it gives you a nice, a nice GIF or a video that you can download and uh, you can try a lot more things. This is quite exciting. This is one of the earliest moments how people started creating videos from uh, text to image generation models. Right now, this generates only one second video, not a lot. But imagine like if you can stitch together a bunch of one second videos and also there are a bunch of other things that you can do. Like right now, the number of images are like seven you can do more and um, you can increase the time. So the potential is immense. The concept is very interesting. I will link all the required technical description, the YouTube description for you to check it out. Right now it runs on hugging face spaces a 100. But if you were to run this on your local machine or uh, let's say another cloud provider, you can just copy the repo and then do it. I'll also link the semantics slaters from Linoi, which lets you do the same thing without having to use hugging face. So Great news. Uh, thanks to Linoi for sharing uh, what is it and the technique and also for Ethan for sharing this de detailed technical blog post. See you in another video. Happy prompting.